Hey guys, this is MacKids01, and today this is going to be a video on how to run a speed test on your network. And um, we'll also be going over what are good speeds and what are slow speeds, and etc. Um, now, there are a few websites to do this, but my personal favorite is speedtest.net. Very simple, and I'm pretty positive that this is a Java applet, so you probably need Java to get this working. Um, this will come up and it'll ask you to choose a server. And you just want to click test using recommended server. And then you'll see um, this will start happening. Um, and it'll start running a speed test on your computer. And um, this is pretty cool. And um, so yeah, right now it's running pretty fast. Sometimes my network is faster than this. Sometimes it's slower. Um, but this is a pretty good result I've gotten. Um, so basically, that is um, speedtest.net running on the Mac. If you try to run it on the iPhone, um, you will get brought into the App Store and asked to download an application called Speed Test. Yes, they have made a Speed Test application for the iPhone. Now, I'm going to be going over some good scores for Speed Test. Um, so right here, you see my scores. If I zoom in, and on the left, there's something that says download, and under that is 19.153, and then KB slash S. That's 19,000 kilobits per second. Kilobits, not kilobytes. Now, um, that, if um, 19 kilobits per second, 19,000 kilobits per second is 19 kilo, or megabits per second. So a megabit is 1,000 kilobits. So, um, just divide the number by a thousand to see. So, I have 19.153 um, megabits per second download speed. Now, this is pretty accurate. 19 um, kilobits per second or megabits per second is very, very, very fast. With this, you will be able to download um, huge videos in about 30 seconds. Um, you will be able to, um, view any YouTube video and download it completely really fast. I have, um, very, very, very professionally high-speed internet where I live. And, um, I am also plugged in. So, um, my internet will probably be faster than your internet when you run the test. Um, for upload speeds, you can see it's 5,000 kilobits per second under upload. Now, um, your upload speed will normally be a lot less than your download speed. Unless you have Fios, they'll be about the same. And if you have DSL, they'll be about the same. But with Comcast, which is what I have, um, uh, it's, it's, it's slower. Because the download speed is unbelievably fast than the upload speed is, is normal speed. So basically, upload speed 5000 is... Um, is is a little more than what I'd expect for upload speed because there's five megabits per second because it's five thousand kilobits per second. So it's um it's actually pretty fast. So I have unbelievably that's that's not unbelievably fast, but that's pretty fast. Like so basically for download speeds I'd say three G, um since I have a three G iPhone would be about five 500 kilobits per second, so that's about a half a megabit per second. Um, DSL might be one, two, three, four um, uh, megabits per second. For for upload, I can't really tell you what I'd expect, but uploading speed is like the speed that it takes you to upload things. So if you have five um, megabits per second of upload speed, you have a video that is 50 megabytes. That would be five, 50 divided by five, which is 10 times eight. So that would be um, about 80 seconds it should take if YouTube has as fast download speed if you have upload speed, which it of course doesn't. So really, when you're uploading YouTube videos, it's going as fast as it can no matter how fast your upload speed is because um, YouTube server isn't as fast as your upload is normally because they're handling tons of uploads every every moment. Um, but basically that's, um, that's speedtest.net, that's, um, how to process your results. On my iPhone, if I'm on Wi-Fi, I get about three, um, megabits per second download. Um, that's just because, um, it can't take in as much data at once as the, as its computers can in because it's on Wi-Fi. Here with me on my laptop, I'm, I'm plugged into my Ethernet, so it's going faster, of course. 
But basically, so this is um how to check check out your speed and just test, see how fast it is. So thank you for watching, Rat Kids One. Subscribe and goodbye.